you will bear with me sticking to my text because I'm not a specialist and I want to be accurate in what I say. Um, I will broadly present what has been happening in Greece these years in regard to the topic we're dealing with, and what is going on now, and what we hope to achieve. So, the great potential residing in the affiliation of heritage with digital technologies and the ensuing need for the effective use of the latter in the protection, management, promotion, and dissemination of the cultural capital is at the epicenter of the policies and the strategic planning of the Hellenic Ministry of Culture and Sports. Identifying and meeting the needs and expectations of the academic as well as of the general public, encouraging cooperation and joint actions on a national and international level, adoption of an intersectoral and interdisciplinary approach on the basis of up-to-date research and established standards, and making the best possible use of available funding are key points in our consideration. Our strategy and planning in the domain of digital cultural curation revolve around three main axes. The creation and continuous enrichment of national and European repositories of digital cultural content. The long-term and sustainable conservation and management of our digital cultural assets. The uninterrupted availability and accessibility of digital cultural assets through the implementation of up-to-date and constantly reviewed technologies. The great diversity, geographical dispersion, and tremendous multitude of Greek cultural assets of all periods, as far as movable monuments alone are concerned, a very rough and modest earlier estimate based on storage volume raised their number to over 60 million. Generally different needs and special requirements for addressing and handling each particular category and genre of the material necessitate prioritization and call for the implementation of a variety of specialized tools and methods of digitization and original dig digital recording and documentation. At the same time, the larger and richer the digital cultural reserve becomes, the greater and more pressing the need and obligation for its long-term and sustainable conservation and management, for the establishment of efficient mechanisms to ensure compliance with new standards and technologies, and to apply constant adjustment and modification of strategies and procedures in order to guarantee uninterrupted availability and accessibility to all audiences. This also raises the issue of cost, the necessity to maintain all this on sustainable levels, and to provide adequate and steady financial resources under particularly hard and adverse economic circumstances. The great diversity of the original cultural wealth results in the need for diversity and specialization in the methods and means of making the ensuing digital capital available and accessible to the audience. And since this audience is neither single nor uniform, the methods and means of address and approach also need to be variable, multifaceted, and properly adapted to meet the requirements of different population groups according to age, ethnicity, profession, social origin, etc. They need to take into consideration particular interests, skills, and needs, making use of new technologies in different ways for different target groups and for different purposes. The variability of uses and users of the digital cultural capital combined with the speed and ease of propagation and reproduction and amplified by the inherent difficulties of monitoring and regulation of the vast world of the internet and the social media, create additional challenges in preserving the integrity and identity of the digital cultural content. It can easily be cut off from its meaningful context, which is necessary for the interpretation and understanding. 
At the same time, complex legal issues and implications, including but not limited to copyright, emerge in the process. All these factors are taken into consideration as current projects are carried out and future ones are being planned in the domain of digital cultural management. For 20 years now, the Hellenic Ministry of Culture and Sports, through its competent units, has been actively involved in many research and development-oriented programs, both autonomously and in close cooperation with academic institutions and other <coughs> public and private entities from Greece and abroad. I will just briefly mention Greek participation in the Aquarel project, the Minerva network, in the content of which the Greek side contributed to the coordination of cultural and scientific content, digitization, and documentation activities at a European level, the area and the Michael projects that brought together the cultural sector with scientific research and technology, creating and expanding the necessary infrastructures through the DCNet network. The Athena network providing internet access to cultural objects and archival material from European museums and archives. And the Carrara program promoting immovable monuments of the European archaeological and architectural heritage. All these actions together with national projects such as the ongoing catalog of the listed archaeological sites and monuments of Greece compiled and published since 1999. The first National Archive of Monuments Information System, Polemon, designed to meet the needs of the various units and services of the Hellenic Ministry of Culture and Sports, providing an integrated set of tools for monuments and collection management, and the Polydevkis platform for producing a thesaurus of terms related to cultural heritage and an ongoing nationwide digitization campaign have greatly contributed to the enrichment of Greek and European repositories and aggregators of digital cultural content, providing access to cultural heritage through various providers, such as the European the Europeana Digital Library. The principal long-term objective of the Hellenic Ministry of Culture and Sport have been, has been to create a national archive of monuments, an all-inclusive registry and inventory of all the material evidence of Greek cultural heritage, composed of both the movable and immovable monuments. Hosted and supported by modern purpose design and produced cloud-based web accessible and secure IT platforms, when completed, <coughs> this extensive digital record will hold the data and provide the tools that will allow all competent units of the Hellenic Ministry of Culture and Sports to form an accurate, real-time picture about the state and condition of the country's whole cultural capital, enabling firmly founded and efficient short-term and long-term strategic decisions concerning its preservation, protection, and management. It will also make the information available to the wider, wider public through dedicated internet portals and electronic services. The first platform hosts the archaeological cadaster, the first coordinated, systematic, and constantly updated <coughs> digital recording and documentation of all the public real estates in the territory managed by the Hellenic Ministry of Culture and Sports. This integrated information system will be populated with reliable and detailed geospatial, descriptive, and legal information related to the historical identity and administrative status including, but not limited to, acquisition procedures, ownership and management data of land plots, buildings, and other structures acquired or supervised by the ministry, primarily consisting of ancient and recent immovable monuments, archaeological sites, and historic places. <clears throat> when this project is currently underway through EU funding, is completed, 
all the information, including orthophoto maps, will become available to the international public through a dedicated portal and multiple other channels over the internet. In parallel to the archaeological cadaster, the ministry has undertaken also with EU funding the task of developing a, a second integrated IT platform that will allow all central and peripheral units to effectively record, document, monitor, and protect their collections of movable monuments exhibited in museums or held in storage against wear, loss, and theft. It will be equipped with modules for this employment of expandable multilingual thesauri of archaeological and technical terms for the management of digital images and other audiovisual material within, uh, with the ensuing copyrights for the analytical description and documentation of diverse types of objects of all periods, for the documentation of conservation procedures, for the management of permanent and periodic museum exhibitions, for the supervision and handling of storage facilities, for the processing of matters related to the import and export of antiquities, and the issue of internal and global alerts related to objects missing, stolen, involved in illicit trade, or other criminal activities. The platform work will interoperate with that of the archaeological cadaster in order to provide accurate administrative as well as geospatial data concerning the locations where movable monuments were created, discovered, and are being exhibited or stored. It will also facilitate the publication and promotion of Greek cultural heritage through an internet portal and various kinds of digital applications, including, but not limited to, virtual exhibitions, storyboards, and personalized virtual collections. In order to facilitate access to Greek cultural heritage for the international public, the interface of all portals will be available in English, and so will the description of each displayed movable and immovable monument, as well as the technical and archaeological terminology included in the documentation thesauri. Part of the information will also become available through national and international aggregators of digital cultural material, such as the Europeana Digital Library. In tandem with the two IT platforms, the Ministry is also carrying out two large-scale nationwide projects aimed at the digital topographic geospatial and archival documentation of over 7,500 urban and suburban land plots, agricultural parcels, buildings, and other structures acquired or supervised by the Ministry. 5,100 land and underwater archaeological sites, including their protection provisions, buffer zones, and other measures, as well as over 20,000 ancient and recently listed monuments, building complexes, and individual structures with their surroundings. The digitization of a small part of the vast collections of movable monuments, pottery, sculpture, jewelry, coins, etc., held in museums and storage facilities of ephorates of antiquities, a significant proportion of which has never before been indexed, photographed, or studied. Currently, through EU funding, digitizing stations have been set up throughout Greece and circa 620,000 objects, 160,000 previously uncatalogued, 340,000 catalogued, and 120,000 digitally catalogued in various earlier formats and platforms are systematically being identified, photographed, described, indexed, and then digitally recorded in order to populate the new integrated information system. The other projects are being complemented by the digitization of the historical archive of the Greek archaeological service. This is one of the earliest and most important archives of the Greek state. 
dating back to 1834, which consists of documents, prints, drawings, and other material related to the history and actions of the service through time that holds valuable information related to the discovery, conservation, and curation of archaeological sites and antiquities over the years. A dedicated platform serves digital archiving and internet publishing of the material for the benefit of the academic community and general public. Together with a large-scale horizontal project described above, over 40 more actions specifically targeted or of peripheral character are being carried out nationwide aimed at the incorporation of digitization and digital cultural management techniques in everyday curatorial practice. The standardization of digitization procedures, the implementation of new and specialized techniques of digital scanning, measuring and modeling of monuments, the homogenization of pre-existing digital material, the clearing of copy and other rights of digital material, the development of IT tools and applications for public access to digital cultural assets, research, and educational purposes, virtual touring of museums and major sites, many others. In general, our future plans are aimed at the deeper integration of the cultural sector with digital technologies and the information society in the context of national and EU funded projects and actions in the following fields. The continuation of the digit digitization process of the Greek cultural capital, the further enrichment of the National Archive of Monuments, as well as the maintenance of long-term preservation of the digital material produced. The expansion of the capabilities and scope of the IT platforms currently under development in new fields such as that of digital excavation management and documentation. The improvement of accessibility and experience of the digital cultural capital by the scientific community, the educational system, <coughs> and the greater public by means of specialized web and other applications targeted toward different types of users and audiences based on their particular needs and requirements. The wider deployment and consolidation of information and communication technologies in the daily operation of all units of the Ministry of Culture and Sports in order to improve their efficiency in terms of cultural management and administration. The encouragement and support of private or social initiatives to develop value-added applications and services based on available digital cultural content. The encouragement and support of the use of new technologies and the production and promotion of contemporary culture as well as of all aspects of intangible heritage. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope to see you in Athens next year or uh, after that uh, so that we can show you what uh, we have been doing and we hope for your collaboration. Thank you very much.